Welcome to the Thinking Big Podcast. Today is part four of a special 14-part Think and Grow Rich Challenge, and today's challenge is on the second step of faith. I recently hosted a live 14-day Think and Grow Rich Challenge that benefited Feeding America. It went absolutely great, and I thought it would be such a great idea to have this challenge and put it right here on the podcast for anybody to do. So for 14 straight days, I will be releasing a new podcast and the associated challenge that covers each of the 13 steps in Think and Grow Rich, plus a bonus challenge on the introduction. And it doesn't matter if you've ever read the book or not, this challenge is designed for anybody to do. There is a link in the show notes so you can sign up for free and get the download for all of the challenge worksheets, plus a PDF copy of the original Think and Grow Rich book if you like. So today we are thinking big and talking about the second step of success, the chapter on faith, the state of mind, which may be induced, created by affirmations and repeated instructions to the subconscious. Welcome to the Thinking Big Podcast with Sean Osborne, the show helping you think bigger into your life and potential. Sean believes by equipping you with the tools, strategies, and philosophies required to be successful in all aspects of your life, you can achieve anything you believe in. Empowering our own growth makes a deeply positive and lasting impact on our lives, community, and our world. Now, here's Sean. Welcome to day three of the challenge. Today's challenge is on faith. It is the second step in Think and Grow Rich, and it's probably one of my favorite steps in the whole book. And like always, we're going to start off with a few quotes that are in alignment with this chapter, with this step from other great thought leaders in the industry and in the past. So let's go over a few quotes that are about faith, faith in ourselves. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr., take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. Wallace D. Waddles. Things are not brought into being by thinking about their opposite. How many times, I mean, everybody can think and grow rich, but most of the time we think and grow poor, right? You cannot have A if you're always thinking about B. Howard White. Faith can move mountains. Doubt can create them. George Seaton. Faith is believing in things when common sense tells you not to. When common sense, see common sense, I don't like common sense. Common sense is overrated. So we are on the chapter of faith. Welcome to tonight. To start this off, we'll just read part of, you know, the, the actual intro header to this uh, to this uh, chapter. Faith is visualization of and belief in attainment of your desire. And that is big there. It's not just, you know, belief in yourself. It's not just, it's visualization of and belief in attainment of what you desire. You know, if you don't see and feel your dream in your dream, in your mind, you're never going to see it in the physical reality. You're never going to see that. And let's go to page 45. And this is, you know, right at the beginning of the chapter, page, uh, excuse me, line 13 through 16. Faith is the head chemist of the mind. When faith is blended with the vibration of thought, the subconscious mind instantly picks up the vibration, translates it into the spiritual equivalent, and transmits it to infinite intelligence. Now, my uh, Think and Grow Rich mastermind, we dive deep into infinite intelligence, what it is, how you get it, and we really dive deep into that. But this is so, so important. And did anyone... From yesterday, build their uh, future memory. You know, one of the one of the uh, steps or the challenges from yesterday was to do your you know your statement of desire and build a future memory of it. Remember your future. We we build that memory. It is so important that you do that. And faith is a state of mind which may be induced or created by affirmations or repeated instructions to the subconscious mind. It says that right in the book through the principles of auto suggestion. That's tomorrow is auto suggestion, but faith and auto suggestion go hand in hand. And this is why repeating your affirmations twice daily is so important. That's why reading your statement of desire twice every day, feeling it, seeing it twice a day is so important. 
And how do we, you know, part of what this challenge is, is how do we do these things? You know, you know how do we, how do we do these steps? How, how, how do we get to them? And so, so how do we build faith in our success? Well, I'll tell you the three, to me, the three biggest things in building the faith is one, confidence in what you're doing builds faith. If you have confidence in what you are doing, it will build faith in your ability to do it. Accurate knowledge in what you're doing builds faith. That's why accurate knowledge is so important. You got to know when you do A, you're going to get result A. You got to have that accurate knowledge and that builds faith in your potential. It builds faith in you. And knowing these 13 steps will absolutely build faith. These 13 steps build incredible faith that you can achieve what you're setting out to achieve. And all of the greats have this, you know, all the greats do this. They all talk about this. You know, I'm not sure if you, uh, like Tony Robbins, you know, Tony Robbins has a fantastic, uh, if you've ever followed him and you ever do this, he has a four box, uh, method of, of looking at this, basically the same thing. And he has four boxes. One, the, the, the bottom box is belief, which is faith, certainty, you know, certainty in what you're doing, faith, belief above that is potential. Then you have actions. And then below that, you have results. So it's four boxes. And what it's doing is it's, that's that's kind of a graphical way of showing you that the faith that you have in yourself, the belief, your certainty in doing something builds your potential. Your potential then builds, that. that's what your actions are done. Your actions are based on what you think your potential is. And those actions create results. And it's a vicious cycle, either, either up or down. So your results then build into your beliefs, build into your certainty. So the higher you go, the higher your beliefs are, the higher your potential. And it's a circle up. It's a always going up, but it can always go down too. And as a matter of fact, thinking big, you know, my coaching, thinking big coaching, you know, my thinking big is a methodology and the B I G and big do the same thing. The B is for beliefs. That's your faith in yourself. That's the belief in yourself. That's the certainty in yourself that generates more imagination. That's the I. So when you believe, if, if you know and you have faith that you can make $10 an hour, well, it's not hard to imagine, use your imagination to do 15. It's not hard to imagine a little bit higher than you are in anything what you're doing. If, if, if I can do this, then I can imagine a little bit more. And then the G is growth, which is the combination of you know, your actions and your results. So again, it's the same. We, we're it's all talking about the same thing, you know, your certainty, your beliefs, going into your imagination, going into your growth and you know, your actions and your results, they're all tied together. So in addition to having, you know, that intense burning desire for riches or whatever it is that you're, you're wanting, you know, that obsession, really more than a burning desire, it's really an obsession. You must also have unwavering faith and belief in you, in your ability to achieve it. You know, faith and belief is one of the most, to me, is one of the most important keys in converting your dreams, your thoughts into reality. You know, faith, it actually works on a subconscious level. You know, it moves you towards your goal. You know, if you have faith in yourself and your plans to achieve whatever it is, your wealth, whatever, it will actually, when you have that faith, it actually prompts or gathers or knows or sees ideas and associations that lead you to success in that dream. You know, we talked about it, you know, I think in day one, you know, my philosophy on, uh, you know, the, the Porsche theory, you know, the second I got one, I all of a sudden started seeing it. So when you are focused on and have faith in a certain thing, you're going to start seeing that all around you. If you have faith in, in negative things, you're going to see those negative things around you. So having that faith is absolutely critical. And here's the thing. If you lack faith and believe the opposite, you'll be defeated. Every single time you will be defeated. And that's when I talk about, you know, most people, you know, everyone can think and grow rich, but most people think and grow poor. And the thing is, is you don't even have to be consciously aware of the negative thoughts. You have thoughts going on subconsciously that you're not even aware of that are going on. And those subconscious thoughts will either good or bad. So what we're trying to do is we're going to plant those good ones in. We're going to plant those. So it is critical to develop faith that really uh, propels you toward your goal, toward your dream. You know, faith inspires 
others to help you. You know, one of the things that we're going to go over in this is the mastermind. That is one of the most important steps for me within Think and Grow Rich is getting those people around you and doing masterminds and having access to the mastermind. And it's hard to get people into a mastermind if if you don't even have faith in what you're doing. If you have faith in what you're doing and, and what you're going to be doing is going to work, it's easier to get others to work with you. You know, this is, you know, that is literally by constantly telling yourself that you can succeed. You, know, you have to have that faith and you do that by constantly, constantly telling yourself you can su succeed. And more than that, it's envisioning yourself succeeding. It's what I was talking about is remembering your future. And one of the things that Hill talks about in the chapter is you eventually become a believer. You begin, you know, you eventually become to believe the things that you repeat to yourself, positive and negative. And here's the thing, by default, we are absolutely fantastic at the negative. We're constantly telling ourselves negative thoughts. And, and part of that day one challenge was making the tick mark, being consciously aware of every time we had those negative thoughts. We have those all the time. And you really, what I like to do is go beyond just envisioning your success. You, know, you can see it. You can feel it. I want you to act as though you already have it. And I'm not talking about fake it till you make it. I'm talking about actually acting as though you have it. So let's say one of your goals is to be financial. You, you want to think and you want to grow rich. You want to have the freedom. You want to have the money. Go out to dinner once a month or once a quarter to a nice restaurant. Order that nice bottle of wine. Don't worry about the money. Don't, don't worry about how much it costs. Go do it. Act as if you were already there. Because I'll tell you what, when you do that, your mind takes on the vibration of that thought that's dominating right there. It takes on, you, you are at a different vibration when you're doing that. So I always tell people, act as if. You know, have an alter ego of that person you want to be. Don't fake it until you make it. Act as if you already have it. And one of the challenges today is, you know, he, uh, Hill, has in the book is what he calls his self-confidence formula. And it's part of, you know, again, it's part of today's challenge. I call it the success confidence formula. This is really something that we need to do to be successful, not just for ourselves. And it's five things. It's in the book. I think I can't remember what, uh, what page it's on, but it's five things that you need to memorize and you need to do every day. And you're going to sign off, you know, part of the challenge is you're going to sign off that you're going to memorize these things and you're going to repeat them. Now, I want to know it's quite a few, so I'm not going to go, or it's quite a lot in each one, so I'm not going to go through all of it, but I'm going to give you kind of a cliff note of what each one is. So the first one is you're telling yourself affirmations that I know I have the ability to achieve my specific goal. And I mean specific goal. Remember in day one, you got to be down to the damn penny if it's finances, you got you to gotta be very specific. Number two is I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes a day on the person I intend to become. That's the, you know, acting as if. 30 minutes a day, act as if you're that person. Act as if you already have what, you, what you're dreaming about. Spend, and the third one is spend 10 minutes a day demanding self-confidence of you. Demand 10 minutes, demand self-confidence. Number four is my goal determines that I develop self-confidence to achieve it. You know, your goal demands, and if it doesn't demand that you develop self-confidence to get it, then it's not a very big goal. It's not something worthy of you going after. And number five is I will cultivate positive thoughts towards myself and others. That is such a biggie. Because I'm telling you, we are so negative in our thoughts all the time, and we don't even know it. We don't even realize it. And again, that's what the day one was, putting a tick mark every time you, I just want you to become consciously aware when you do that so you can eliminate it. Because uh, again, these are these are at the subconscious level. We, we don't even notice that we're, we're doing some of these. So the second part of the challenge is really towards that, is cultivating positive thoughts, thoughts towards ourselves. And as we're going to learn is, auto suggestion or self suggestion or you know doing these things and telling ourselves these things absolutely matters so the second part of the challenge is besides doing what's in the book so this is kind of what's in the book the second part 
is I want you to write down five of your limiting beliefs in the opposite. In the opposite. And let me give you an example. So for example, one of my limiting beliefs was that I was stupid. I had a limiting belief that I was stupid for so long because of where I came from and, and, you know, what my background is. So I thought I was stupid. You know, my, instead of my limiting, instead of my belief that I'm stupid, my limiting belief might be, uh, I would write something like, I have all the knowledge I need and the things I am passionate about. I have the knowledge to help people conquer their dreams. So I want you to write down five of your negative beliefs in the negative, in a positive light. And whenever you're doing this, I want you to repeat your negative beliefs, your opposite negative beliefs. We, the thing that we have to do is we have to start magnetizing our mind towards the positive things. Thoughts are things. They're everything. And getting a good representation of where you're at and what to do to gain faith. So all of this will build your faith that what you're doing is right. It's building faith that what you're doing is going to work. What you're doing is absolutely there for you. And I'm going to tell you this, it is impossible, impossible for you to have a dream or an idea and not be capable of doing it. Impossible. If you have an idea, I don't care how many times you say, I can't do that. I'm not big enough for that. Or I can't, I don't know the people. And if you have an idea and you pulled it from infinite intelligence, you are fully capable of doing it. You would not be able to have that idea if you weren't. So today we're building the faith that you can do it. We're hacking your subconscious mind. This is a way to hack your subconscious mind and start putting in crap that we want. Instead of the stuff that, that just goes in naturally, the negative crap that goes in naturally, we're, we're putting in stuff that we want. So now we're hacking the, the subconscious mind. We're building our own faith in what we can do. So until tomorrow, tomorrow is another good one. Tomorrow is on auto-suggestion. It goes hand in hand with this uh, because auto-suggestion is the way that we really hack our subconscious mind. That, that is the tool we use to hack our subconscious mind. So tomorrow I will see you at seven o'clock. 